for our SoCal Spotlight, and this morning we're checking out Chino. Yeah, it is the heart of SoCal, where the Inland Empire meets LA County and the OC. Our Sheba Turk live with the look around. Sheba, this looks so cool where you're at right now. Chris and Rudy, yes, it is very cool because planes, planes, and more amazing planes. We are at the Planes of Fame Air Museum, which really tells a very cool connection to Chino and aviation history. Brian Finnegan knows that very well. He's the director of education programs here with the museum. Thank you so much for having us this morning. Oh, you're more than welcome to have you. In fact, um, we welcome everyone to come out and really experience the aviation history that is Southern California. Uh, this was, like you mentioned earlier, an epicenter for uh, aircraft production during World War II. And I mean, we as a museum cover the gamut. This behind us is the Wright Flyer, a replica of the 1903 Flyer mm -hmm. that the Wright brothers flew 120 years ago last month. And it was the very first flight of a heavier than air, air aircraft. And then juxtaposed over that, we have an, a replica of the Apollo space capsule. And the interesting thing about the Apollo space capsule is we go 66 years from the Wright brothers first flight, which lasted 12 seconds and covered 120 feet to seven days in space, 500,000 miles in that 66 year period. So aviation is one of those technologies that advances so rapidly. And the entire collection here that we have, 150 aircraft in the collection, all span that 66 year period. They, Amazing, and it's all because one man wanted to preserve this aircraft. Yeah, yeah, it goes back to Chino's history. In fact, Chino, this location, which is now the Chino Airport in World War II was a training base for U.S. Army Air Cadets. Over 10,000 uh, cadets received their wings here at what was called the Cal Aero Flight Academy. And they closed the school in 44. The war doesn't end until 45. So they brought a, a, they assembled a number of planes, over 2,500, lined them up in, in rows. And when the war ended, they first tried to sell those aircraft and then they realized there's no buyers for it. So they began to destroy them. They began to chop them up and they melted them down into aluminum ingots, which became aluminum foil mm. in the late 1940s. But there was a young high school kid by the name of Ed Maloney, lived in Pomona. And he would come and he was an aircraft nut and he would come and watch and then he sees them destroying this and he makes a vow to himself that he's going to spend the rest of his life and he does 67 years. He saves over 250 aircraft and most of those are in our collection here. There are others in the Smithsonian, the Air Force Museum, the Navy Museum. But Ed Maloney started this with a vision that these aircraft need to be preserved so that future generations can experience and enjoy them. And that's really what we're about is, is doing that. And we do it in a unique way in that we are a flying museum. Really cool. My favorite thing is hearing the little tidbits and stories and fun facts you have for each plane. You showed me the one that was in the Pearl Harbor and Valkyrie. What about this one right here? So this is a, a aircraft that would have been built here and also in Dallas. This is built by North American. It's a P-51 Mustang. And this is the D model. This would have been a fighter aircraft from World War II. Would have been flown by the U.S. Army Air Force uh, at that time. And then you see the blue plane over there. That that is a trainer aircraft. That's the advanced trainer. Um, both the Air Force and the Navy would have used that aircraft. And then, of course, Amazing. we talked about that P-40 that was in the movie um, Valkyrie and Pearl Harbor. Yep. It also was a combat veteran of World War II. So many amazing facts here, guys. And guess what? We've got more coming for you. There are seven hangars here at the museum, so I'm going to take you through some more throughout the morning. That is so fun, Shiva. Thank you. Yeah, I could listen to that guy talk on I and know. on about I our know. history. So cool. Shiva, thank you so much.